I'm Nahana from Smoky Mountain Farmhouse here in Zone 7A, and today we're going to be seed starting some vegetable greens that are going to be planted out in our high tunnel, and I'm going to be using a 2-inch soil blocker. The vegetable seeds that I'm going to be planting today are some cabbage, lettuce, kale, and collard greens, and all of these have an ideal temperature range of about 45 to 80 degrees. We are going to be planting these out in our high tunnel, and that's going to give us an extra four weeks or so of growing time. If you don't have a high tunnel, you can just hold off on planting them depending on what your zone is, but these are all cool weather vegetables. They prefer the cool weather and not the heat of the summer. This is our first year planting in the high tunnel, so how we can utilize it to extend our growing season is new to us. So we're just going to be experimenting on what works out there. And the majority of our vegetables are actually going to go in our raised beds and cut flowers are mainly going to be filling the high tunnel. But we're going to section off a small portion to allow for vegetables so we can have our own vegetables earlier on in the season for our family. I'm going to go ahead and get started making this soil blocks mix. The happy frog mix has been working really well for us this year. I've had really good germination and uh, the blocks seem to be holding together well. And I decided to use this two inch soil blocker as opposed to the small one because the seed depth on many of these is around a quarter to a half inch and the small soil blocker is only a half inch. So Due to the large seed size, I decided to go with the larger soil blocker. I'm going to fill two 1020 trays here, and each tray holds 45 soil blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by putting some of this mix inside this bucket. I may sit it down here on the ground. After I've poured some soil in the bucket, I'm going to use some water to wet down the soil. That way we can form the soil blocks. This helps kind of turn them into a mold. And then I'm going to use my shovel and just mix this up. And just try to get a good consistency here. You want it wet all the way through, but not soaking wet. You want it to be able to form together. And if there are any chunks in the soil, you can just go ahead and toss those out. You can kind of squeeze it together. And if you see the water kind of seeping out between your fingers, that's kind of a pretty good consistency there. So, I'm just going to give it one more good mix. Alright, and now we're ready to start forming our block. Now that we have all the soil wet down, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling the soil blocker and lining the 1020 tray with the box. So you're just gonna pack it in here nice and firm. And you wanna get it as tight as you can, that way the blocks stay together. And 
and then you're going to put it in your tray. And make your first set of blocks. And I'm just gonna do that and line the whole entire tray. Now that I'm done making all the soil blocks, I'm gonna go ahead and start planting some seed. First, I'm gonna do some cabbage. This is called Red Express. And cabbage is gonna be planted at a quarter of an inch depth. And the ideal temperature for it is 50 to 75 degrees. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna do two seeds per soil block. Place them down in there and the soil blocks make a little indentation that helps you easily cover up your seeds sometimes the indentation might be a little too much or not enough but it's helpful for a guide I'm gonna go ahead and seal my seed packet back up. And lightly cover these seeds. Always be sure to label the seeds that you planted. Sometimes you might think that you're gonna remember, but you'll probably forget. So I write that it's cabbage, what variety, and then the date that I planted it. So Red Express. And then the date. Now that all of our cool season vegetable greens are planted, I'm going to take them inside and put them under our grow lights. I'm actually standing in our seed starting greenhouse, but we still have to put the pan lane on. So until that's finished, they're gonna stay inside. And then once this is done, we'll move them out here if time allows. Once they get big enough, we're gonna transplant them out in our high tunnel greenhouse and we're just gonna see how they do out there. Um, this is our first time using the high tunnel and we're hoping that it can extend our growing season. I have 90 plants here, so I sectioned off an area of the high tunnel to fit about 90 plants, and that is just for our family's own vegetable use. Um, the majority of the high tunnel is actually gonna be filled with cut flowers, and the rest of our vegetables are gonna be planted throughout the raised uh, bed garden. Soil 
Aerial blocking is our preferred method of seed starting because it makes a healthier seedling. The soil blocks allow the roots of the plant to be more aerated. And also, when you go to transplant them out in the garden, they don't suffer as much transplant shock because you're not having to tear them out of some sort of container. They're just used to being in their block and they have an easier time of growing out into the soil. And this also helps them not to become root bound. Uh, the downside is that it does take a little while in the beginning to make the soil blocks, but in the end, when you go to plant them out in the garden, it's much quicker because you're not having to fuss with any sort of container. You can choose to start seed any type of way that you want. A 50 or 75 plug tray would work just fine to do this, um, or any sort of cups or whatever type of vessel that you have. Um, we just find this to be the easiest way and it uses less material. All you need is a flat tray and some dirt. Now when these go inside, I'm going to spray them lightly each day until the seeds germinate and once they get up, I'm going to bottom water them. So this is another way that this, the seedlings can stay healthier is because you can actually put some water along the edges and the soil blocks will absorb the water up through the roots as opposed to spraying on top of the um, seedlings. So that's how I'm going to care for them while they're inside before they get planted out into the garden. We hope you enjoyed watching us seed start some cool season vegetables. Stay tuned for when we plant them out in the high tunnel. And as always, we thank you for watching our small farm grow.